Hey everyone, Steve the Amateur Historian. Before I start today's video of me visiting an interesting place, I just want to remind you to like, share, subscribe if you want uh, to see more content. I'm posting all the time, literally. And uh, you can hit my Patreon, the link is in the description with the video, as well as the link to my Instagram. So uh, thank you so much for your support, and with that said, let's go to the video. Howdy everybody, Steve the Amateur Historian. I did not see that bus coming. Nor did I hear it apparently because I'm deaf. Walking north on Northeast 105th. I am way, way north. The Columbia River's not even that far from me. I've mostly got my mask on because it stinks down here. But anyway, I'm trying to make this treacherous walk. I gotta cross under the freeway, which is dead ahead of me. And there's like a little, uh, I don't know if it's like a wetland or a little park. It's like a little park thing out here that I'm gonna visit and do a walkthrough. I've seen it pop up on maps and I'm like, man, I wonder what that's like. Cause it is like a official park space. It's not just like, here's some green grass and whatever happens, happens. But we're really close to the uh, Columbia Slough and the little whatnots that go through here. And I've heard some interesting stories about this general area <laughs> right over the top of this like you can see there's part of the slough or at least a runoff of it down there that i just walked over so yeah i gotta go up here cross under the freeway and it's like just the other side of the freeway and i'm very interested in what i might find there man that car got destroyed Anyway, there's a really high homeless population in various parts out here. And I even saw on Reddit where like some news reporters like went to like one of these little islands that's in the slough to like see what was going on and maybe do a story about it. And they said that they kind of like coasted across the water, got to the island, started like hearing things and seeing things and they immediately booked it out. They bailed. They were like, nope, nope, nope. They were sketched out and took off i'm not expecting to find that kind of like but it's like you know people go to like these hidden little areas that big homeless camps pop up in, and they think they're gonna find like cult rituals and like a cannibalistic society or something ridiculous like that i'm not expecting to find much but i'm just curious because it's this random little like wetland water space meshed in with all of this commerce There's a little setup over there. Some benches to sit on, how nice. So North America, overhead power lines. I don't know, let's do this. Slip my mask down. Yeah, see, there's this, it's a, uh, it's some kind of nature thing. Fish smart, eat safe. There's not, there's not like a sign. Oh, and I guess there's, this almost looks like a boat ramp, but like, are people boating in the slough? That just seems, I don't know, counterintuitive. This is, this is beautiful, but also kind of frightening considering how many, sketchy folks are known to be out here but look at this look at this path this is like i'm on my way to paradise they're just like it's a little too industrial in northeast we got to pretty it up a little bit we'll cordon off this little area and just make it look real super pretty no one's following me right last thing i want is some predatory bastard seeing me go down this secluded path and be like aha I'm gonna be just fine. I saw something. Is that a mouse? I think that's a little mouse. Yeah, it's a little mouse, I think. It looks like a mouse. You know, fella. He's certainly not afraid of me. He's not really running away. You can kind of see him moving around in there. Hello. That kind of 
make sense. I would expect there to be mice around potentially, especially where there's lots of crap getting discarded and lots of potential homeless camps. Uh, like you can tell people have been kind of setting up shop in here. It's, it's not the most amazing experience because you have like, it's like a power station just right across the fence. You're not even far away enough that like there's trees that obstruct your view of the, uh, all this crap that's around you. All right. Yeah, so it's very, it's very interesting. This whole, this little nature, I don't know if it's like a watershed or it's not really a wetland because I mean it's or a floodplain considering its location but it's still nice it's just interesting that it's like both sides you know are still just packed with industrial stuff yeah there's a blanket on the ground right there either someone's coming and going from there or they just were like well that about does it for this blanket Getting a little closer to the slough. The pretty dainty little slough. Thought I heard the hell. I heard like one solitary footstep and then I heard like whatever that other noise was. They come to get me. I'd go into paranoia mode now, but I'm not recording a therapy walk. It wouldn't be right. Yeah, someone's, you can see there's like these little flattened out areas where obviously people have been recently camping. Look out, make sure no, make sure no mice run across my feet. Yeah, cause I can hear all sorts of little woodland creatures rustling in the brush. Look, I hear you bee. There's a bee floating up behind me. I didn't care for it. It's a pretty decent length trail. I really don't know where it dumps me out. But yeah, through the through the brush, yeah, just a lot more. This is just like a big, big driveway with other stuff. pathway goes a while. I didn't think it was going to go this long. This tree chopped to the quick. I'm amazed there's so much blossoming plant life considering all the commerce and crap that's around. There has to have been just what could, all kinds of chemical spills and whatnot. Oh, we got a little one of these out here in the jungle. <laughs> Not really. All right, we got two more of these things right across from one another. We got you. And then we got you. This one says black trans lives matter. Hell yes. Do you say? No, this one's just black and red. Oh, someone ditched their goods down here in the valley. This is still kind of peaceful despite never quite getting, you know, far away enough to not hear the vehicles and the, the sounds of the economy busy at work. It's another one of these boxes. Hello to you. This one looks like it just got some paint just kind of tossed on it. I swear I just heard a set of keys. Another one. 
muscle man. You think you're tough? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that's some kind of a nest up there. Someone's definitely camped out there. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just that that's kind of thick, dense brush and it's kept more leafy sprouting greens like this from popping up. No idea what all this is over here. It's something. It's another box. Pride BLM. L to the S. It's another one. I didn't see these earlier, but they're popping up frequently now. And so again, I don't I don't know where this brings me out at. I just know that this is here kind of crammed between all this crap over here and then all the similar type crap over here on the other side of the slough. So it's it's nice, but yeah, there's that, just that interesting aspect that we're in the middle of a industrial area and they were like, hey, you know, here's a little nature for you to look at. So you industrial people don't lose your damn minds. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, there's a place where the branches open up in there. There's definitely Yeah, there's some people down there in the tent. They have their tent set up. And there's people through there too, yeah. I'm suddenly starting to see a lot of, a lot, all of a sudden starting to see actual homeless people. Which means I might need to pull out my, well, I have a couple weapon options if need be, if it goes to that extent. You know, yeah, a lot of people in Portland claim that like they're constantly being like, on a daily basis, they're constantly being harassed by homeless people. And I'll tell you what, you know, if you see my vlogs, you know I encounter homeless people on the daily, up close, what have you. Um, a few of them have come up and talked to me and gotten a little weird, but none of them have ever, like, threatened me. I've never had one of them try to rob me. And, like, yeah, the people back there, they literally, they had their tent right down on the, it almost looked like they were floating on the, on the slough. I could hear them talking in there, and they had to see me. I was right in their eye line. And, uh, nobody came out to mess with me. Because that's what I was wondering. I didn't really know how overcast with trees this would be. How semi-secluded it is. And then if I had to run in with a bunch of homeless people, would anybody hear me scream? There's a... I heard that. There has to be a pretty decent sized critter in there. Definitely the crunching. It was bigger than a squirrel. Something like that. I just saw a car. Haha! -ha! It is a squirrel. I see your tail. I see your tail shaking. <laughs> so I guess it was a squirrel. Oh, yeah. I guess there is like kind of an elevated shoreline. That's probably how those people were able to put their tent up down there. But. Surprise, those are the only people I've actually seen through here. And I wouldn't expect there to be a lot of foot traffic in general from just general people, aside from people who like work out here, who are like, I gotta get away and walk the trail. This is probably very seldom traveled because people who would be interested in a place like this wouldn't be hanging out in a neighborhood like this. Uh, so, that was another thing that brought me out here was like, I thought this is just interesting that there's like this little watershed, little nature area, nature park, call it what you will. That's just up here in North, Northeast Portland, nestled in, oh, excuse me, nestled in with all this industrial stuff. And it's, it's beautiful. Look at it. It's gorgeous. See that little bit, that little patch of light there. It's like you're going through a doorway into heaven. It looks like we're coming to the end, or at least we're coming to a street. So yeah, it's just a little nature, nature path, nature trail. What the hell? 
and yeah, I have no idea what road I've come to now. I know I'm going west, so it's gonna be something small. It's gonna be le it's gonna be a numbered street, but it's gonna be less than a hundred. That's all I can say for sure. And that is the end of this. There's not even a sign here that says what this area is. I mean, if there is, they don't have it along the path, and that's the area that people are most likely to check. Look, and it's just like all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. It's just, just industrial again. With some leave behinds. Of course, no adventure would be complete without the abandoned mattress. And a shoe and some various other gross knickknacks. Still a beautiful view. All right, gang. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little travel. I mean, not a whole lot happened, but I just thought this was a really interesting place in the city. A nature park meshed in with all this industrial hullabaloo, you know? That's all. So, actually, I don't even know if I want to be going this way. I gotta figure out what way I'm going. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, remember to like, share, subscribe, hit up my Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, the link to my Instagram, if you want to see other stuff that I have, is in this description as well. And till next time, from northeast Portland, the industrial area, and whatever this nature area is called, I think it's called Johnson something. This has been Steve, the Amateur Historian, and I'll see you next time.